Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 27 of my art studio tutorials here on YouTube. So today we're going to have a first look of, on the factor analysis. And today we're going to have a look at specifically the KMO test and the Bartlett's test of sericity. And those are two pre-requirements before you can actually do the uh, factor analysis itself. So first of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, I want to make this channel grow as much as possible, so every subscription would really help me out. Okay, so today we're going to work with the data set which is called Factor. And it consists of uh, multiple external motivation items. For example, uh, the salary is great, there's lots of vacation days, uh, the, uh, I've got fun uh, co-workers. Those are external uh, modes of, act of uh, motivation. And there are also five internal modes of uh, uh, motivation, so the, uh, that you can develop yourself, that you think it's a u that you're doing a useful job, etc. So a factor analysis is basically to what extent R can find uh, underlying dimensions for these items. So if in this case we hope that R finds two underlying di dimensions, one of them being internal motivation and one of them being external motivation. But before we can do that, actually, that factor analysis, you first got to do the KMO's test, uh, the KMO's test, and Bartlett's test of sericity. So first of all, we're gonna open so library, and then the psych, uh, the psych uh, package. If you don't know how to install a package, then please watch episode one in which I explain it in more detail. Then second of all, we're gonna attach this data set. So attach, and then factor makes it makes it way easier to code from now on factor so so now it is attached so up next we're going to create a model we're going to create a data frame we'll call it model model and it's going to consist of data point frame and then of all those 10 items so external one external two external three external four external five internal one internal two, internal three, internal four, and internal five. And you create the model. And then we want the KMO, KMO of this model, of this model. And then press Ctrl Enter. And if we then look at the bottom, we can see that the Kaiser Meyer Olkin model has an overall level of 0 0.84. And that's good because it needs to be higher than 0.5 to be average. And it needs to be higher than 0.7 to be good. But what needs to be good? What needs to be higher? Well, the KMO, also known as the kaiser meyer olkin factor adequacy, shows to what extent R can actually find those underlying dimensions. So in this case, we hope that it finds two underlying dimensions, uh, being internal motivation and external motivation. Uh, but... Uh, uh, whether uh, R finds those, uh, whether R finds those dimensions or not, is shown by the KMO uh, value. So it needs to be higher than 0.5 and to be average, and be higher than 0.7 to be good. In this case, it's 0.84, so it's high, so it's good. So this means that R can find underlying value, uh, underlying dimensions. And what those dimensions are, we're going to look at for next episode. But for now, we're also going to do the in the source screen the Bartlett's test. Bartlett test of, in this case, model again, and control enter. And if you then go to the console screen again and look at the Bartlett's case, uh, at the Bartlett's test of sericity and then at the p value, it's 0 0.000. So it's smaller than the alpha of 0 0.05. So therefore, it is significant. And what does this mean? Well, we've got 10 items, as we know, external one until internal five. And those items correlate with each other. And uh, what the Bartlett's test of sericity shows is to what extent the 10 items are not correlated. It basically, uh, the uh, nil hypothesis, so the, uh, yeah, the nil hypothesis states that the items are not correlated and therefore they are an identity matrix. That's the nil hypothesis. But you want to reject that nil hypothesis. And because it's a significance value below 0 0.05, it is. So we can reject the nil hypothesis. So we can reject that it is an identity matrix. And therefore, we can conclude that it is a correlation matrix. 
so the items do correlate, which is important, because if none of the items would correlate, then it would be an identity matrix, but we can reject that hypothesis. So this needs to be smaller than 0.05, and in this case it is. So once more to uh, summarize, KMO needs to be higher than 0.05, and uh, it's even best if it's above 0.7 and it measures whether R can find underlying dimensions. And the Bartlett's test of homogeneity uh, shows uh, to what extent it's an in the identity matrix, and in, you want it not to be an identity matrix, but a correlation matrix. So that's, uh, and that has to be smaller than 0.05, which it is in this case. Okay, so that's how you can do uh, the KMO test and Bartlett's test of sericity. Next episode, we'll take a look at the factor analysis itself. But for now guys, this is the end. If this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more. Uh, every subscription really counts. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible. And for now guys, I see you on the next tutorial. Ciao.